Hi guys. Right, I've got an update for the Bedini circuit for you. Um, right. Those that are into electronics will know exactly where I'm going. Um, so, the update is to use a pair of transistors in a Darlington pair fashion. Now, what happens is, T1, T2, for the two transistors, right, the uh, trigger coil comes into the base of T1 as normal. The collector of T1 connects to the collector of T2, and then up to the um, driver coil as normal. Right. And obviously the, the diode for the back EMF capture is connected as normal. Now, the emitter of T1 goes into the base of T2. Right? And then the emitter of T2 um, goes to the return of the battery as normal. So, what are the effects of doing this in such a manner? Right. Basically, um, I did the theory um, on, on the upgrade for about a week, uh, trying to figure out um, what effects having two transistors would actually uh, cause. Um, and I was discussing it with Keyword Char Noir um, at the end of last week, and I talked him through building one, and we tried it out. On his setup, um, the effect was that the rotor spun a hell of a lot faster. Um, it had more torque behind it, and oddly, it used less current. Now, the other effects that um, probably wouldn't uh, be able to pick up on straight away is that the back EMF would actually be uh, a bigger spike. Why, I hear you ask. Okay. First of all, here's the circuit. Right. That's so you can uh, do your own. Okay. Uh, as normal pause as necessary. Right. So, why does it alter the circuit? Okay. Here's a little spreadsheet I created. Um, now, basically, um, first column A is the input voltage coming from the um, trigger coil. Column B is... Um, basically what percent T1 is turned on by um, and then column C is the percentage that transistor 2 is turned on by bear in mind that the main flow um, of power for the driver coil goes through T2 not T1 right um, the higher that column C is the earlier the better so, here's a screen cap of the spreadsheet. Right. As you can see, transistor 1 only turns on by a couple of percent before transistor 2 is fully saturated and turned on by 100%. There's literally like, what, put one of a volt in it? So the figures have been modelled around the C4106, I think it is, um, the ones that I'm using, or going to be using, or at that moment. Right, um, so as you can see, if you're using a single transistor, right, um, then just look at column B, and then compare to column C. If you use two 
as you can see, transistor C turns on a hell of a lot sooner, all the way on, as, than just a single transistor. This means you get an earlier um, rise in power from your driver coil. Right? And of course, when it shuts down, you get a faster decrease in power, which will result in the higher battery mass spike. So that's why it goes faster, that's why there's more torque. Because it turns on all the way sooner. So, don't play, you'll like this. Um, should work with standard Badini's. Can't see a reason why it won't work with um, the solid state self oscillating ones. Um, the only thing I will say is. Uh, Pure Chanoir, who tested it, had to up his base resistance to from was that two three hundred ohms up to one point two k, and then he had three one k pots on top of that for tuning. Um, he said he found it very easy to find the second gear. I'm pretty sure there's a third gear in there somewhere. We'll find it. Okay. Um, as far as the negative side effects, there aren't any. Um, not that we've seen at the moment, anyway. Um, so, I mean, it should theoretically reduce current consumption and spin faster. Now, everyone's setup is different. Uh, mine's a whole lot different to most of yours. Um, the only thing I can say is try it. It's not going to cost you much to uh, have a go. Um, and the benefits far outweigh the time that you'll spend. Basically. So, go and do it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Stop watching this video and go and do it. Go on. <laughs> right, any comments, questions, feel free to email me. Anyone wants to add me to MSM. Feel free. I'm on uh, quite a bit in the evenings and sometimes up to two o'clock in the morning. Ah, but there we go. Right, have fun. Talk to you later.